by Adrienne here. Germinating citrus seeds is very easy. I have been doing this in the last three years. I have already germinated um, grapefruit seed. This is my grapefruit tree. I also had many lemon trees, but I when I pruned the plant back, um, I pruned it too much and it didn't survive, sadly. So <laughs> be aware when you are pruning your citrus trees to not to cut them back too much. Now this here is an orange tree. I have been growing this since the last winter. And I also have an, another, a tangerine tree so these three are the ones i have right now and here i have a few seeds prepared now i will show you how you can uh, germinate any kind of citrus seeds i have here a uh, lemon seeds grapefruit seeds but you can also do the same with orange seeds or tangerine seeds uh, if you have any I have some tangerine seeds already germinated here. I will show you this right away. Once you have got your seeds, put them, uh, wash them in under water and then put them into uh, water for a day or at least for a few hours. That will help uh, the germination process so that it, the seeds can germinate faster. Now. If you look at the seeds, uh, check how full those seeds are. As you can see here, these two seeds are very different. This one is very, very full and rounded. This is a pretty good seed. On the other hand, this seed here is way more smaller. It's not as full as this one. Now, this can still germinate, but we can expect that this one is not, will not be as strong as this seed. So if you have many seeds, choose the ones that are bigger and more rounder or fuller than the ones that are wrinkled or thin. Okay, so this is a good seed, this is a not so good seed. Now, once you have oops, your seeds, put them into the water and let them in the water for a day. It doesn't matter if you leave them in the water for more days, just don't forget about them and change the water frequently. I use lukewarm water for the seeds. It's better than using cold water uh, because warm water will again help the seeds germinate faster also don't use too warm or too hot water because uh, that's not good for the seed either now once you have uh, let your seed inside the water for some time it's time to remove them and put them into a container we will using we will be using the paper towel method here so what we will do is get a paper towel, put this on the container and I like to half it this way. And then I use a spring bottle and I spray some water on it. And this way I can put the paper towel easily inside the container. This is where we will place the seeds. Now before I put the seeds inside the container, I like to remove the harder, harder shell, the outer shell of the seeds. Now if you see that your 
uh, seed is already germinating, then you can leave this hard shell on because uh, you might um, hurt the little seedling if you are not careful enough. So if you see that it's already green somewhere and it has started to germinate, then just leave the seed like this. It will germinate this wheel as well. But if you would like to fasten this germination process and the seed not yet germinated, then you can remove this outer shell. How you do is you will use a knife and carefully cut off this part of the seed, which is pointy. I will show you here with the grapefruit seed as well that here it is the sharper, the pointy edge. That's where you can start uh, removing uh, the seed itself, this harder shelf. So this is how I remove the shell. So here is the seed and very carefully I will remove this part of the shell with my knife. And once you have made an opening here in the shelf at the top part, you can remove all the other shell with your fingers. If you have longer nails, then it's even better. You can use that. As you can see, I was able to start to open it here and from this point on it's very easy to remove it. If you are a kid be sure that you ask an adult to be with you and help you with this process. Be very gentle with your seed during this time because it's very weak and so this is how the seed looks like once you have removed the outer shell. And now I will put this seed into the container. And I will repeat the process with my other seed too. If your seed is very slimy, then use your paper towel or a cloth and try to remove the fleshy part of the fruit from the seed of its surface so that you can handle the seed better. This way you can hold it secure while removing the outer shell. So once again, I find the pointy edge here. That's where there is no seed, so I can cut this off. Okay, I will also cut it back here very carefully this side and this way I can peel it off now and I will use my nails here to remove this fully. Of course, the bigger the seed, the easier it is to remove this outer shell. And it's ready to be germinated. After you have 
peeled off the outer skin, the outer shell of the seeds, put all of them inside your container on the wet paper towel. Now I have three seeds here, three lemon seeds and three grapefruit seeds. Write down the name of the seeds you are germinating so later you will be able to know uh, which one was which one. I know uh, which is the lemon and which is the grapefruit seed seeds because the size difference here. Now I will close this paper towel on them. I will also sprinkle water on this. Close the other half, add some water and close the whole container and keep this uh, in a warm room somewhere near a warm place that will help the germination process and you will see that within a week these will all germinate or at least most of them will germinate. Here is the seeds I have started recently. These are tangerine seeds and as you can see they have germinated. This one is germinating as well but the other four has um, bigger roots already. These can already be planted into soil. When you are planting it, make, uh, some hole, make a hole for the root and put it inside the, the pot and uh, add some soil on top of it, around it and top of it and don't bury it too deep, just um, add uh, fingers with of soil on top of the seed, that's more than enough. And you can see here, <laughs> the outer shell actually fell off from the seed now that I have grabbed it. So I didn't remove this because it was already growing inside and I didn't want it to hurt the seedling. And it's pretty nice. You can now see how such a seedling, a tangerine seedling looks like. This was the seed itself, first the root started to grow and here grows the plant itself, the leaf, leaves and the stem. So you are planting it with the roots downwards, facing downwards. So this is how the seeds looks like after a week. So these seeds germinate very fast, it's very quick and very easy to grow these plants. Once you are ready, put them into soil and you can grow your own citrus trees this way. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, give, give it a try and germinate your own seeds. It's, it's a lot of fun and of course it's nice to have these seeds, these trees at your home. It's some nice greenery. They have a nice uh, looking leaf. It's very shiny and uh, it has a nice green color so it looks good in your home. Good luck and have fun growing your own seeds. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye!